This week's responding to your comments is all about mucus phlegm and catarrh. Husky929 commented, Abraham, please make a video on how to get rid of mucus in the throat and clear out the phlegm. I need it bad. Well, what are we waiting for? Hit that like button if you're fired up for this and let's go. So let's dive straight into it. I am forever recommending this tip to my patients. It's super easy to do. Everyone can do it at home. Everyone's got the ingredients and it's gonna help with the mucus phlegm and catarrh. It's gonna help reduce inflammation in this area and it's gonna help get away of all those allergens and debris. And if you're wondering what it is, it's the saline rinse. We're gonna use the saline solution to do a rinse and a gargle is how you do it. One teaspoon of salt, one cup, add salt, boil kettle, add hot water to your salt, mix, and your saline solution is now ready. So we're gonna use our saline solution for both gargling and the nasal rinse, okay? In terms of gargling, super easy to do. First, let it cool, stand over a sink, take a sip, gargle, spit it out. You can repeat this as often as you need. And next up, it's time for the nasal rinse. You're gonna stand over a sink, wash your hands, pour a little bit into your hand like so, close one nostril, sniff the solution up, and let it run out. You're gonna repeat it three times in both nostrils, easy as that. Now, when you're doing the nasal rinse, you might get some in your mouth, don't worry about it, just spit it out. And please remember, you can do it as often as needed, but you need to make a new batch every single time. And diving straight into tip number two, it's time to take the saline rinse to the next level. Because let's face it, sniffing up that solution is difficult. It's an unnatural process. You're not gonna be doing it right, which means you're not gonna get the full benefit of helping clear that mucus, phlegm, catarrh, debris, allergens, all of that sort of stuff. So tip number two, let me introduce you to the device that I've developed, the Neti Pot Sinus Rinse Bottle. It's gonna help you do the sinus rinse properly to get the maximum effect. Let me show you. And it's so easy to use. Simply pour in the saline solution that we made earlier into the bottle, then this is the best bit. No stiffing up required. You simply place it into the nostril like so. You click this valve right here and it squirts the water through the nasal passage out of the other end and then you just repeat it on the other end. Easy as that and no stiffing up required. And I really can't recommend my device enough, whether it's for mucus, phlegm, catarrh, a runny nose, a stuffy nose caused by cold, flu, allergies, whatever. It is super helpful and makes it really easy to do the nasal rinse. You can get it from Amazon wherever you are in the world. So if you want to take your saline rinse to the next level, give it a go. I'll leave links to it in the description and in the pinned comment. And diving straight onto tip number three, add an extra pillow when you're lying down and going to sleep. If you're someone who when you lie down, your symptoms are getting worse, it could be acid reflux. And adding that extra pillow, propping yourself up, can stop the acid from coming up and it could help with those symptoms. If you want more information on tips and tricks that help with acid reflux, I have got videos on it, I'll leave links to up here and in the description. And moving swiftly on to tip number four, if you're someone who's always doing this, <clears throat> you know who you are. All you're doing is causing inflammation in that region, it's making the phlegm and catarrh worse, I promise you. So here's what you need to do. You need to stay hydrated, you need to keep sipping on water, keep that area nice and hydrated, and it's gonna prevent you from constantly doing the, because <clears throat> we don't like that. One moment. Amazing. And diving straight into tip number five, home steam inhalation. Probably one of my favorite things to do, really easy to do, get yourself a bucket, get yourself a kettle, pour the boiling water in there. You can add some eucalyptus menthol oils, but if you don't have it, it's completely fine. Sit at a table, sit over it, get yourself a towel, drape it over it, and spend about 10 minutes breathing in and out nice and deeply, okay? Leave at least a 20 to 30 centimeters distance between your face and the bowl, just so you don't burn yourself. Easy as that. 